Hey everyone, and welcome back. You know, today's deep dive is gonna be a good one. I can feel it. Oh yeah, what makes you say that? Well, we're tackling a question that I think we all kind of struggle with, you know? Like, what if owning less stuff could actually make us happier? Okay, I see where you're going with this. The age old, less is more idea. But we're not just talking about clearing out the clutter, are we? Exactly. We're going deeper, tapping into ancient Chinese philosophy with a guy named Lao Tzu. He had some seriously radical ideas about this whole thing. Lousy, now there's a thinker who knew a thing or two about wisdom. I'm excited to dust off the Tao Te Ching for this one. What do you say we jump right in? Let's do it. So imagine this. You get the latest phone, the newest gadget, whatever it is you've been wanting. You're on cloud nine, right? Yeah. But then, like two days later, it's just another thing. Ugh, tell me about it. That feeling of new phone, who dis, wears off way too fast. But what if there's a way to chase that feeling of joy without needing to buy something new? Okay, so you're already on the same wavelength as Lousy. He was all about finding contentment and peace without relying on material possessions. And that's where his whole philosophy of less is more comes in. It's not about deprivation, it's about realizing that true happiness comes from within. So it's not about having a certain number of things, but about cultivating a certain way of being. Yeah. Can you unpack that a little? Absolutely. Think of it this way. Lousy believed that constantly chasing after more stuff actually makes us more restless, less satisfied. It's like we're always looking for the next thing to fill this void, you know? Oh, 100%. Uh it's like that feeling when you buy a new book, maybe you even do it to avoid reading the ones you already own. Exactly. And Lousy was all about being present, mindful, and appreciating what we already have. He even has this great line in the Tao Te Ching. To attain knowledge, add things every day. To attain wisdom, remove things every day. Oh, that's good. So how do we apply that to our lives today? Because it's not like we can just ditch all our stuff and meditate in the woods. Right, and Lousy wasn't saying we should live like monks. It's more about being intentional about what we allow into our lives, uh -huh. our homes, our schedules, even our minds. It's about simplifying, clearing out the excess to make room for what truly matters. So it's like hitting the declutter button on all areas of life out with the unnecessary commitments, the toxic relationships, the mental baggage. Yes. And by creating that space, we open ourselves up to more peace, more presence, and ultimately more joy. This is making so much sense. It's like how having a clean and organized space can make you feel calmer and more in control. But we're talking about applying that to our entire lives, not just our junk drawers. Exactly. And it's not always easy. Our society is constantly telling us we need more more stuff, more connections, more, more, more. But Laoji would argue that true fulfillment comes from simplifying, from appreciating what we already have. It's like he's handing us this permission slip to let go, you know, to stop buying into the idea that happiness is something we have to chase after. And when we do let go, we create space for the things that truly matter. Meaningful relationships, fulfilling work, and a deep sense of inner peace. This has been such an eye-opening deep dive. I feel like we could talk about this for hours. Me too. Lousy's wisdom is truly timeless. So for our listeners who are feeling inspired to embrace a little less is more in their lives, what's one thing they can do today to get started? That's a great question. I would say, take a look around. What's one area of your life where you feel stuck, overwhelmed, or just not quite content? It could be your physical space, your schedule, your relationships, anything. And then what? Just Actually, get rid of it. Well, not necessarily get rid of, but more like simplify. Ask yourself, what can I let go of in this area to create more space for what truly matters? It's a powerful question and one that I think we can all benefit from reflecting on. So as we wrap up our deep dive into Lao Tzu's philosophy, I hope you feel inspired to explore this idea of less is more in your own life. And remember, it's a journey, not a destination. Start small, be kind to yourself and see what unfolds. You might be surprised at the peace and contentment you find along the way. Absolutely. Thanks for joining us on this journey of discovery, and we'll see you next time for another deep dive.